This is your hits evolution station, Evolve Radio. Right, good afternoon and welcome to your uh, Evolve Radio interview slot. We are doing a, a video interview and audio uh, audio interview as well. My name is Matt. We've got Gavin from the Sunday Club joining us as well. Easy. Hello. Guy. And we are talking today to Matty Good Vibes. Hello, mate. Yes, guys. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. Are you all right, Gavin? Oh, sweating. Sweating. Like a kebab on a, a spit roast in the kebab shop. <laughs> so, um, it's warm. It is it very warm. Is. Definitely very warm. Um, so um, I'm going to start off with a couple of questions for you, Ma. Uh, we met in a most bizarre place a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Um, Who were Mrs. <laughs> Definitely uh, one of the bizarrest places I've ever met um, anybody on a car boot. That's right, mate. It's Shelford. Yeah, you very kindly took part in one of my sort of car boot quiz YouTube videos, which was great of you. Thank you. I did. You found out how thick I was. Hey, everyone was sick. <laughs> 100%. And what that video shows is how um, how thick people actually are. Yeah, you know, when you when you're putting them on the spot, they're like, uh, uh, okay, um, and none of none of them could get the 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 uh, cat question right, could they? No, no one ever gets it right. It's a genius question. It's just what is a female cat? Nobody ever knows it. It's just what like, is it? It's... What is it? Is Have it a um, uh, female cat? Is it a she? She cat? No. Like She-Ra from Thundercats? No. 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 I've no idea then. You don't Is want it to just a cat? I, I'm, <laughs> I'm thick as two short planks, me, so I would have failed massively on that interview. Go on, what is it? It's a queen. Oh, is it? Yeah. I never knew that. You learn something new Tom every day. Cat and a queen. Where do you, you know when you do your videos and you, you've got your, your set up and you go out in public and stuff like that? Do you have to research yeah. your questions first or are, are you just really clever? Yourself. No, 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 no. You have to do. You have to get. Yeah, you have to get your questions. So you got to treat this YouTube very professionally, right? That's the that's the trick to it. Yeah. So I'll get some. I'll get like twenty questions together. Okay. I'll come down in the morning. I'll get my questions together. I'll I'll go on YouTube. I'll see other people who are doing similar things. See if they've got any good questions. Uh, and then obviously we've got Chat GPT, haven't we? So that what that can give me a few questions, and then yeah, and I get myself like twenty questions together, and then obviously because I'm like a one man band with the filming, so a lot of the ones on YouTube they do it, they've got a cameraman with them, so I have to memorize my questions, so I pick like a dozen questions that I know that I can memorize in an order, and then I spend about half an hour learning them. So I can just reel it off. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then I get to the car boot and uh, or wherever's busiest. I like to go to the car boot because I'm a relentless creator and there's nowhere that's going to be busy on a Sunday morning to do this. Yeah, I've, see, I've seen you. Do You go to city centres as well, don't you? Yeah, I go to yeah. city centres. So city centre, you're guaranteed to go and get people that's where i'm off today this afternoon and uh, that's where i was yesterday yesterday i was doing um i like nando's okay i like nando's so awesome. yesterday i was in town asking people what nando's sauce are you and seeing if the next person could guess what they said they were so it, it was a good video i've got a friend of mine brandon helping me but we didn't quite nail it so i'm back off there today to take two try again. today Take, Take two. two, come on. Yeah, and then you can edit all the good bits in, can't you? Yeah, but when when you're doing them with these, with this, so this these ones are a bit more different than the, the like the quiz questions or just the street interviews, because you want like a flow. You're asking somebody, you know, what source are they? So you need to get it like in a nice flow because they're going to react to the next person. So actually, it's quite a um, it's quite a tricky one to film. But if you get it right, it's an yeah. absolute banger. It's really great. You get some great reactions. You know, you get some great, um, you know, opinions on other people. Yeah. But it's just it's just a complicated job to film. You know, we were doing it there like 
I think we were out yesterday for about five hours and I've only been able to make one video out of what we got yesterday. Really? Right. So it's a lot yeah. of hard work then, isn't it? I suppose. A lot of yeah, uh, dedication but, but... goes into it, I can imagine. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. You've got to be committed to the cause. You've got to be committed to it. You've got, to, you've got to enjoy. You've got to enjoy yourself. You've got to enjoy doing it. Um, I'm lucky because I've used to work in television for many years, so I've done the sort of street interviewing, sort of producing it on Carnaby Street. You know, lots and lots of it. So it's not my first rodeo. I can get people in. You know what I mean? I'm good with the questions. I know what I'm doing. I can direct a cameraman. You know, it's just. It's a game of potluck as well, you know. Because you're go... doing it all for yourself instead of somebody else, aren't you? So it gives you that independence yeah, exactly. and yeah, freedom good, yeah. to do what you want, doesn't it? Yeah. So what what has inspired you to do it? Is it is it just purely you want to kind of go out independently, or what what's give you the urge to to go out and create? Because I, I I think you're on TikTok as well, aren't you? I'm on TikTok, yeah, I'm on TikTok. But the main thing is YouTube. Like, I, I believe in YouTube, and I believe I can be a big success on there. I'm good success. I'm, I'm really big. I like TikTok's doing really well. Like, they're getting millions of views, and I'm super happy, and I'm super grateful with everything that's going on on TikTok and on Instagram. But, like, you know, why I've started doing this content is... YouTube just is the way forward for content creators because every every single thing that you make from YouTube can go on the other platforms. But if you get YouTube right, yeah. you've just absolutely cracked it. That's like, it. Once you once it catches you, once the algorithm catches you, you you you'll rock skyrocket. Well, there's nothing to do with the algorithm, to be honest. The algorithm is sort of like a little bit of a made-up word, and this is what I've learned. Yeah. And actually, the algorithm is something where people can blame something that's not them, okay? Right. So if you replace the word audience with algorithm, you know, does the audience like this video? Never mind the algorithm, because all the algorithm does, there is an algorithm in place, but all it yeah. does is it serves the viewer, Right, it serves the audience, and it makes it all it does is it wants it wants to keep that audience member on their app or on their website on their platform for as long as possible. So it doesn't care what what you're making it on, as long as you don't break the community guidelines of said app. You know, Absolutely. it doesn't care. You know, all it wants people to do is stay on the app. So it serves the viewer. So if the audience like the video, your video will do well. And all yeah. the algorithm does is it pushes the video out to 2,000 people. If they've enjoyed it, if they've watched it for, I don't know, maybe even 10% of the video, it will go, do you know what? People quite like that. I'm going to send it to another 2,000. And it records the data and it sends it out on them. But actually, all the algorithm does is just serve the viewer. So in my well, in my video creations, I'm like, have I got that viewer in first five seconds? You know, yeah. am I going to watch that after five seconds? You Not know, the eye catching and draw you in kind of thing. Yeah, it needs a yeah. it needs a hook. It needs to make make you think. Well, I'll watch the next ten seconds of that, and then you've got to sort of like, you've got to keep asking yourself that question every five seconds. Is there enough yeah. here? Are they going to want to watch the next five seconds? Are you going to watch the next five seconds? You know, some of them on TikTok, I've got like, you know, 5% retention on. But the ones that obviously get the millions of views, I've got like 30% retention on. Yeah, I've watched you know, YouTube because... shorts. I think they're hilarious. Oh, yeah. The oh, that's very kind really of you. Thank you yeah, very that's, much. That's they are. Have you seen them, Matt? Matt? Yeah, Have you seen 100%. Them? Yeah. And I, I was just going to say that, and I think your shorts are the ones that drag, um, have dragged me into watching more videos. And so I, just, I was just going to ask you, where does the sort of inspiration for them shorts come from? Is it because the, they are you sort of putting yourself there and then it's all the videos on there of you watching somebody else fall in a pool or fall off yeah. a bike and where, where did them ideas come from so that was so that came about two things so i'm very friendly with lee francis who plays keith lemon so i used to be uh, um a uh, television producer we do just doing keith lemon i just did keith lemon and lee put something up on instagram about david bowie saying that when you're in your comfort zone you need to you need to step out of it okay and i was like right all my videos up to that point of me hearing that 
were, um, you know, verbal stuff I was doing, train stuff I was doing, customer announcements. And I thought, right, I need to take myself out of these wordy videos, get myself out of a, out of the uh, my comfort zone and make people laugh without saying anything, okay? So then I started to research, you know, who were the big comedians on uh, on YouTube? What were they doing? And they were reacting to these viral clips and they weren't saying anything. And I think I stumbled on a fail just by accident. I think I decided that I was going to react to something. I think within five minutes I saw, um, yeah, somebody hit themselves in the face with a belt, I think it was. And I thought, oh, he could be in my bathroom. I thought, why, why don't I just go and do like I've walked in like him, him on in in the bathroom and then I've got a toothbrush in my mouth. And I just, I'll just i spit the toothbrush out and yeah. see if that's funny. And then I did it and and actually, so there was another reason to that as well. So it wasn't only that. So it was about that retention. Okay. So on my customer announcement videos and my train videos, your Liam Gallagher a impression. Long. I love your Liam you Gallagher impression. I love your Liam oh, thank Gallagher. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that one really from Pic yeah. Piccadilly to Stockport that had me in stitches, mate, honestly. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, thanks very much. Liam Gallagher's brother, Paul, is actually following me and tells me how much they're all laughing at the videos. And I saw, well, I met um, his son, Gene, at a party in Ibiza, and he said they're all laughing at it. So I'm, I'm super delighted with the, uh, the Gallagher love. So thank you very much. But those videos, okay, so they were like 50 seconds. And I was getting like, yeah, you know, 20, 26 seconds sort of retention. And so it was like 50% retention. So I thought, okay, well, why don't I make videos that were a lot shorter than that, okay? And maybe I can get like 100% or 200% retention and then it will boost it up and think, wow, these the people love this video so much they've watched it twice, okay? Yeah. And then, and then that's kind of what happened. You know, my videos started getting like 150% retention, and they started getting boosting, and I sort of started to get regular ten k's off doing that. So I was like, yeah. right, okay, let's keep let's let's keep on with them. And also, I found them quite manageable to make. Like I know the train ones; they look quite easy because I've just recorded myself and I do that voiceover. But I think when you go into you know when you're going into the shops and the trains, because I've done so many things, and I, and I target this Avanti train service. You know, like I go on Reddit and try and find problems that people have had you know what i mean and i try and write me script like that so actually you know they're not like two minute jobs i've got like a, a i get you know get myself a little writer's pack as i would have yeah, done in television. it sounds like you do, you do a lot of research into everything that you you, you put out there and you, it, it sounds like you've got a lot of planning behind each video so you, you've obviously got like a, a game plan before you go into it where, where do you get yeah. your ideas from well, you know, I worked in telly for a long time, okay? So, you you know, you had to come up with a million ideas all day. You know, that was what you just had to do. That was what your job was. Um, you know, because, you know, working on Celebrity Juice, you know what I mean? We could, could be filming two or three episodes of that a week and you've got all them games, you've got all them, them gags, VTs, everything that's going into that. So, you, so I was already in the flow of yeah. just coming up with ideas all the time. You know what I mean? Like they're just popping in your head. Sometimes I have too many ideas. You know, it's like, and you've got, I've got to go in my bedroom and meditate for like twenty minutes just to calm my head down and be like, <laughs> right, hang on, what are you doing today? You know, just concentrate on getting a few things that's realistic you can do, and just yeah, just try and bring myself down. What's it um, like um, working on Celebrity Juice? Yeah, it was a great laugh. It was it was great. You know, it was a brilliant show, wasn't it? You know, it was like, you know, I think it ran for, you know, 18 series. I didn't do all 18 series. I think I did four series of it. But we did other things with Keith. Uh, Lee got a golden handshake from ITV. So we had the Keith Lemon sketch show on. We had uh, Through the Keyhole, obviously. Now, I did all the Through the Keyholes apart from the last series. So Prom that was you are prawn cracker. Oh, we love David Dickinson. <laughs> Dickinson. That was so funny, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hilarious, is, I'm in Absolutely. one of them sketches. I'm in one oh, of them you? sketches with David wow. Dickinson. Yeah, yeah. Where, you know, like when they take something to auction, I brought in like a paddling pool, a rubber paddling pool with an hole oh, in it. You? 
Is that you? Yeah, but it was right. it was you just see me, all my face is all screwed up because he's trying to make you laugh so much and you've got to concentrate on being serious and yeah, you know, I defy anybody not to be around <laughs> Lee when he's being David Dickinson and not laugh. You know, it's impossible. <laughs> Is he like that in real life? Obviously, if you 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 worked with him, but is he is he like that in real life as well? Is he he's just as funny as he is on TV? He well, he's as funny as he is on TV. Yeah, he's definitely as funny as he is. He's not like Keith, you know. It's definitely he's different. But Lee is like you know he's super funny. He's a brilliant. He's a brilliant fellow. Very kind man. Um, he's a, he's a, he's a great lad. Uh, he's very supportive of what I'm doing now as well. Like he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's always on it. And he responds to everything, likes the, likes the videos and everything. Can't ask for any more than that. I was gonna do a fashion. <laughs> he's really into clothes, and I'm really into clothes. And I was gonna do a start with a fashion YouTube, and he was gonna be my first guest to interview. But I'm sure, but I haven't, done, I haven't done that. I've done something else instead. Um, but I'm sure. Um, he, we, we will do something t t together again soon, without you, a doubt. You need to because I think I get the vibes that your sense of humor is like on the same sort of vibe as his sense of humor. So I think them two sense of humors working together will make a really good, you know, outcome. Yeah, we were good. Well, we are good friends. You know what I mean. We are good friends. So we, you know, we are like, you know, you know, pals. So make each other laugh, and you know, that's just the important thing. If you make each other laugh, you're going to make other people laugh. You know, that's uh, that's a given. But he's concentrating on a bit of YouTube. I mean, he's had a, a little bit of a pilot in, but that's 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 Lee's that that's yeah, Lee's definitely, business. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um. So. Um, we've got somebody that we want you to meet before we let you go because I know you've got to uh, you've got to get off very soon, haven't you? We want you to meet somebody, and maybe you can use him in one of your videos. My pleasure, definitely. If they're up for being in one, I, I think he's a bit on. camera shy, to be honest. So I'll go and get him. He is a bit camera shy. I think probably won't come on camera. But I'll go and get. Him. Hang on a second. You want right, just wait get... just for one second? I'm going to say. Of course, Sam. All right, just keep, just, uh, just hang on a moment. There he is. This fella. Yeah, it's Kirby, Col uh, Kirby Colin, this guy. Um, okay. And he features on uh, Gavin's show. He's, um, he's basically, he's a, na he's a naughty boy. Um, he's having an affair. I'm not a naughty boy. What are you going on about, you? He's definitely a naughty ah. boy. I'm not a naughty boy. You sound like my wife. You know what I mean, mate? You sound just like my wife. Have you been speaking to her or something? Oh, she phoned me yesterday. Who's this you're talking to here? Uh, this is, I've this is no clue thing. what's going on here. I've just been talking. <laughs> I've been knocking about around Gavin's house because the missus is giving me loads of aggro because this week I haven't washed the pot. So I've come to do some escapes and hopefully, hopefully she doesn't turn up. Anyway, who are you, mate? What's going on? My I like your moustache. Nice to meet you, Kirby. What is it, Kirby Colin? It's Colin. Better known as Curvy Colin. That's what the ladies like to call me. Are you sure they don't call you Pervy Colin? Uh, well, that's, uh, I have got a hearing aid, so it might be a little bit of a... You know, no, I don't think so. It's Sexy Curvy Colin. Sexy Curvy Colin. You certainly are both of them, Colin, my man. I like a pint. What do you like to drink? Me? Well, I'm five years sober, uh, Colin, so right. I don't really... Oh, I well like done, to drink well a fizzy done. water when I go out. Well, I was only saying that because I only drink Bovril. <laughs> I, drink bovril. I love a Bovril. I love a Bovril. It's one of my favourite drinks, isn't it? It's just like a, gl a cup of meat, in it? It's great. Oh, I love a bit of meaty juice. It's great. I love it. Well, we can be friends, Kirby Colin. Uh, can you? Can, can I come oh, to your house right. when the, you know when the missus is giving me a load of air? Eh? Can I come round to yours? Of course you can. I'll get the stock cubes in, man. Oh, mate, get him in. We'll have a cocktail between Bovril and Oxo and a bit of ketchup in there. A rock and roll. Chicken stock in and all. Oh, I love a bit of chicken. I love I'm a bit of chicken, mate. I'll the boat out and get one of them North stock pots for you. And they're get well you some Bovril and a North stock pot together. They're a bit, they're a bit posh for me, though. Well, oh, if you no, can you afford like it, it, then I'm, splash I'm, I'm out. very posh, you see. I'm very posh. Oh, so splash you, out. You, you, Are you going to treat me, then, to some stock I'll cubes? treat you. I'll treat oh, you. Fantastic. I'll even go Waitrose for it. Oh, my gosh. That is well posh. We have to go to Lidl and Aldi. 
<laughs> hey, I love it in Lidl. Can't be a bit of Lidl. Definitely anyway, can't. yeah. <laughs> definitely can't. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave you to it because I think the missus is coming back. And, uh, oh, you better not. I've got, I've got go, tell mate. her to get that kettle on for you, Colin. Get a bob on. Do you know what she's doing? Me, hey, we went to karaoke the other night. What did you think? Uh, a bit of shaking, Stevens. A bit I of uh, shaking, Stevens, that. and Bonnie Tyler, the rocking good way. Amazing. Could you give us a blast of it now? If you're gonna give me good kisses like that, honey, don't you know I'm gonna give them right back, cause that's a rocky good way. Now you've gotta go, that's a rocking good way as a background vocals, but you didn't do it. I'm so disappointed in you. I'm gonna have to Sorry, leave. mate, I was too, I, I was hypnotised by your voice, to be honest, I'm that all... I lost track of what was going on. Well, that I'm was amazing. Hey, do you so know I, what? Hope you, I hope you'll be signing up for X Factor. I'm trying to get a record deal. Maybe oh, you can help me out, you know, whatever, you never know. I, I was only joking, by the way. I don't want to turn down the offer of free chicken stock cubes, so, you know. Sorry, mate, you're my new best pal. That's it. Come on, Curvy Colin. Legend nice in the one. House. I've got to go. All right, see you in a bit. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. Math, Matthew, you, yeah. you, you, you know, uh, I've heard some rumours about you. I'm going to have to have a word with you, Gavin. Okay. I've heard you like Yeah, don't worry. They'll likes... probably all be true. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about the other Matthew now. I've heard he likes to shave his legs. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Definitely my armpits, anyway. Well, it's a good way of keeping cool, isn't it? And they say that it stops the BO. So what if you get a rash? Smelling fresh. What if you get a rash? You know what I mean? In this weather, it's going to be all sore and chapped in it, you know. Get some Sudacrem on. Sudacrem shaving, that's a new thing to me. Definitely. Right, I've got to go. I think we've all lost control now. Listen, um, this is he's texting my phone here. And I've put it on silence. Keep texting and ringing because I've probably got to go and do something else. You, you know what she's like, giving me in the neck every week, mate. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, she probably yeah. thinks you've got a load of women on the go, Colin. Oh, I don't blame her. So attractive. <laughs> right, I'm off. <laughs> I'll <laughs> nice see you later. Nice to meet you, Colin. Nice to meet you. Smashing. Thank you, Colin. Sleep well. Nice one, mate. I'll see you soon. Merry Christmas. Hey, I want to... Uh, I just want to say thanks for talking to me because I haven't got many friends. No, oh, you're welcome. That's why I haven't got any friends, Colin. So we, 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 we can, you know, be friends forever. Matty, if you hear a knock at your door in about 10 minutes, it's me. <laughs> That's great. Come on in. I've, I've already got the, st the stock cubes ready. I've only oh. got actually um, Lidl's home brand That's all stock right, cubes mate. in at the moment, but I, I think you'll still like it. Well, if you if you if you put two in, you know, for the strength, it's, it's a little bit more of a kick, isn't it? You know, uh, exactly. Yeah. Mix it in ice cream as well. You know, chicken flavored ice cream. It's lovely. Like, oh, I'm going. English. Oh, I'm going, mate. See you in a bit. Take care, Colin. Sarah, Thank pal. you, mate. See you, Thank pal. you. Bye, bye. Bye. So, just as we uh, before we let you go, Matt, um, what's next for you, mate? What? Um, just keep doing your content. Is there anything? Yeah, else so I've got some exciting. Well, I've got some exciting um, YouTube shows planned. I've got um, some a, a, some I'm going to do for charity. Okay, and it's going to go, it's going to go mad viral. I don't want to say too much about it, um, but it, it's like a challenge. It's like a challenge vlog thing. You know, like the hardest man. The Hardest Man When He Ran Africa. I mean, it's sort of like a UK version of that, but very silly one. So I'm just sort of like getting that organised and sorting some charity sort of sponsorship from it, which I've got to do today. Yeah, I've got more <laughs> interviewing. Yeah, just content, content, YouTube, YouTube. That's what I'm doing every single day. I'm up at five o'clock every day on it. Have you got any advice for up-and-coming YouTubers and people that want to go out and do their own thing? Yeah, start immediately, right? Don't wait for anybody else. A fella yesterday asked me the same thing. So just start immediately, right? You don't need any experience whatsoever. Just go with it. No matter what you do first time, probably isn't going to be what you do for the rest of the game. They say, oh, you got to pick a niche. you got to do this, that, and the other. 
No, you don't. All you have to do is get into making them. Stop making them. It doesn't matter how long they are. Make them five seconds. Make them ten seconds. Make them a minute. Make them ten minutes. It doesn't matter. Just get making them. And don't even think about it until you've made hundred of them, right? Yeah. And know that it just, if you enjoy it, if you enjoy making that five seconds or if you enjoyed making that minute, you know that you'll have enough passion inside you to keep doing it. Don't worry about how many views you're getting. It doesn't really matter. You've got to make 100, 200 before any, you're going to get one view, you know. Just just keep on going. Uh, believe in yourself. Don't worry, oh, I haven't got this equipment. I haven't got that equipment. You can do it on a rubbish phone. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. All it is about really is just ideas. Think of some good ideas, you know, and again, if you're worried that your idea isn't any good, you don't know until you've made it and you've tried it. So all you've got to do is just do it. It's that old cliched saying, isn't it? Just do it. Yep. But that is it. That is it. Just crack on and do you've it. Got to try, haven't you? I think I've heard Kirby Collins got Kirby Collins started a YouTube channel, I believe. Has he? Yeah. I don't think he's got any subscribers though yet, so. I'll subscribe to him and I'll comment on every single one of his videos. Oh, Send me the link. I'll, I'll tell him he'll be uh, he'll be over the moon about that. He'll be turning up at your house, mate. Brilliant. We'll, we'll make content together. Love it. <laughs> Smash it. Well, we know you've got a very busy day, Matt. So thank you very much for joining us, mate. And um, I hope you're not too traumatised by Kirby Colin. <laughs> I've thoroughly enjoyed it, guys. It was great. It's great to meet both you, Gavin, and I know we've already met Matthew, but thank you very much for having me on. It was great to meet Colin, and uh, yeah, I wish you guys all the best with the show. And I'm going to be tuning in, and yeah, rock and roll. You're welcome back anytime, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. So you guys just enjoy your day. You're going to smash it. Just do it. You've got it. You too, mate. Enjoy whatever you're doing today and uh, we'll catch up very soon. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. Cheers, you mate. Too, mate. Take care. Bye-bye. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. This is Your Hits Evolution Station. Evolve Radio.